Hey folks, welcome back to the next episode of The Main Scoop. I'm Greg Lotko, joined by my co-host here, Dan Newman. Good to see you, Dan. It is good to be with you here and in person, and it's good to be having a conversation today about some tech that's going to be uh, hitting the markets, huh? Yeah, new stuff that's out on the market now. So this is, you know, the main and main scoop is where we relate the latest and greatest technology I mean, it's not always like a news-breaking show, but sometimes when things are happening, we are the place for it to happen, Greg. And, you know, yep. you, and, you and me talking about Al and everything else. <laughs> that, that was AI for those of you who don't understand who Al is. People got to get to know our humor. I mean, we're what, like 40 episodes into this thing? I know, it's pretty dry. Mm, it is pretty dry. Yeah. So anyway... <laughs> Let's be serious. We're going to be talking about the IBM Z17 now. So the next latest, greatest generation of the mainframe. And I'm delighted to welcome our guest, David Watts. He's the VP of Hybrid Cloud AI Security and Resilience at IBM. So that's a big scope there, David. David, welcome to the program. Tell us a little bit about your role. You bet. Pleasure to be here. First of all, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me. And uh, this, is, this is an awesome show. Uh, and and I know it reaches a lot of uh, uh, of great listeners, um, and they're going to be very excited about what's uh, what, what's coming in the in the uh, next E17. But I'm I'm uh, David Watts. I'm the VP um, uh, of IBM Z uh, AI security resilience, all the good stuff that goes into the, the platform, developing and delivering it um, out to. Uh, to uh, the masses, uh, so lo really looking forward to what's coming. So, 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 David, we're going to dive in. We're going to dig in. We're going to talk a lot about the product. We're going to talk about the challenges you've addressed. We're going to talk about AI and security and so much more. But, kind of, what's that first big bang you're having at getting out there? Uh, you know, talking to customers. Kind of, what's that reaction that you're getting now that you're uh, you're out with the the new Z17? Yeah, I'm glad you actually mentioned customers because you know. One of the things we started doing uh, with, with each of these systems is actually working very closely. In fact, I'd say co-creating with our clients. So through, you, yeah, I, know, I know you're familiar with the ZDC, it's the DZ Design Council uh, that we have at IBM, but we have multiple other councils, uh, security councils, we have AI councils now, uh, where we work very closely with the clients um, while we're developing uh, what goes into the, the system. Um, so I can actually answer with a lot of confidence. We've had over 1,600 just hours of uh, co-creation with clients when you when you add it all together. Um, that our clients are incredibly excited about the the capabilities that we're building into uh, the Z17. And we're not only a partner, right, in the mainframe ecosystem. We're a customer as well. We've got our own Z17, and we're delighted to have the technology and have day one support. Awesome. So um, let's let's talk about the clients a little bit more, David. I mean, look, I've been tracking this for, I think this is the third or fourth launch that I've been around for. I'm still pretty young. Markets are changing, technology is changing. We've had some really disruptive uh, periods of time now. Of course, you've done a lot of work with uh, on the silicon level, AI level, but like, kind of talk a little bit about the lens of the client challenges that you're setting out to really address with the Z17. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, it seems like just yesterday we were talking about the Z16, right? And, uh, you know, you, you even had a program, I think, on the main scoop uh, talking about it. Yeah, um, I think that was our and, first and program was, we launched. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was, you know, a continuation of incredible momentum we've had from 14 to 15 to 16, where each each program is outdoing the other, both in terms of capabilities and in terms of, uh, you know, business results. And uh, and Z17 is poised to be no different. Um, we, you know, we, we've been building in new capability, which we started it with 16, quite frankly, right? You recall, we talked about AI and building those AI capabilities. That program, that main scoop program was before ChatGPT, right? So you can imagine the amount of excitement and transformation that has happened along the way that we've been building into into uh, this the, this Z17 system, and and our clients got and and the world kind of got a taste of it 
uh, early when we went to Hot Chips and, and talked about some of the infrastructure that we're building in, the, the actual new Tellum 2, which has new advanced capabilities that allows us to do more with models. But we went further than that. We built in system capability with the new Spire card that um, allows us to bring multiple models to the platform and even have them work in concert. Um, to, to deliver new capabilities for, for our clients. And you were asking specifically about what, what types of use cases. There are a ton of them. Uh, there are some, you know, and there's more that we haven't even thought of, right? So that's, I'm excited about what, what might come down the line, but thinking about things like fraud detection or risk assessment or enterprise uh, use cases that we apply these, these things to. It just it takes these incredible capabilities that we have on the on the uh, IBM Z17 to new heights with when when we bring in the AI powered capabilities into those. So resiliency and security and reliability that's always been kind of a, a hallmark of the platform. What's new with Z17? How is it going to further you know the environment in these spaces? Yeah. So. Um, I think one of the, the things I'm looking forward to the most is that when we bring these new capabilities, this full stack capability um, to those, the, those things that you mentioned that have, have given us all the success that we have seen, um, it's almost like putting those capabilities on steroids, right? Our ability to have insight, think of uh, security and our ability to have insights in security through, you know, things like sensitive data tagging or through uh, proactive threat detection, right? Um, we are building in these, these AI capabilities everywhere, in addition to enabling our clients to be able to use these, this new uh, infrastructure for things, for things that they care about the most, right? In uh, actual AI applications. So, he just said it, so Go I ahead. can talk about AI, I know where right? You're going. Okay, I'm just checking. Right. So I want to talk. <laughs> about, I want to talk Al, a little bit about Al. Yeah. So this one's gonna. This is gonna stick. This should be called the "You Can Call Me Al" episode. Artificial line of the Z17 launch. Yeah. I'm glad that we've got this. So I'm gonna get the last word in. You hang in. So you always do. We. I always do. That's good. I like that. So let's talk about AI incorporation. It's been a big thing. We saw glimpses of it with Z16. It seems that what you're doing across the stack means that Z17 should have a really big, meaningful AI bench, especially because at, at Arvin's level, I mean, AI and hybrid cloud, those are the, the company's ethos, right? Sit on those two things. Yeah. So, so I mean, so let's start with the, the, the infrastructure we built in. So we built in now a, a, a Telum 2 processor that has a specific AI engine uh, that's going to, with, with, you know, incredible performance, right? Industry leading performance. So that enables, that in itself enables our clients to bring more uh, more models and, and do things like ensemble AI where they're, they're, they're using multiple models to, to uh, draw more accurate uh, conclusions uh, for their and insights. And but then when you add- that on platform, right, David? Not going that's off. That's the beauty right? of it. Yeah. yeah. That's right, Greg. Uh, I mean, that's the beauty of it is they're doing all of this on platform, which means you're bringing the AI capabilities to the data, right? So what does that do for us? It gives us a lot faster insights, right? So think of it as you're reducing um, it, it, reducing latency, which you can imagine, um, you know, when you're doing things like fraud detection, um, makes a huge difference, right? Um, one, you want it to be accurate. But you also want to get the answer very quickly, right? Because the sooner you get it, the more you can prevent in terms of losses, right? That and and they're, we're talking huge numbers with a B uh, in terms of dollars of losses. That that uh, you know, think about it. The mainframe runs the world's economy, so. Well, I don't have a billion, but I don't want any fraud on any of my accounts. Oh, you every mean dollar on, the, matters. on the scope every, of an entire do- bank or financial institution or or trading house? Yeah. 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 yeah, you got it. You got it. Every every dollar matters. So I think that's one of the things that's really great is that we're we're bringing that AI capability to the platform. So there's sort of gravity, right, which our clients are uh, very excited about. So this obviously continues into core, though. So we see that where it's expanding to, David, with AI, mm-hmm. tell them to processor, really making it part of the the offering. But Greg alluded to this in the beginning. I mean, at the core. It's always been security reliability that's driven Z 
in the in the in the product. So, is there an evolution there in terms of making it more secure and more reliable from G, uh, from 16 to 17? Yeah, 100. percent You're you're spot on, right? And I I alluded to some of them already, right? Uh, building our capabilities, we're built, we're delivering something called uh, IBM threat detection for ZOS uh, with, with the Z17. And what that does is it actually adds AI powered capabilities to be able to detect and neutralize cyber threats um, early, right? So, so this, the earlier you can do it, the less damage, the more, the more quickly you can mitigate and, and minimize the damage. So um, that's a huge, a huge one. Another one would be, I mentioned, I think I mentioned uh, sensitive data tagging, which is using AI power capability to identify what your your most important data is so that you can uh, take action and, and protect it. So th those are a couple examples of, of how we're um, sort of taking what was already industry leading security and taking it to the next level. So I know a number of times we've been talking about you know bringing more talent into this ecosystem and the future of the platform bringing new people and new skills. Are there ways in which the new Z17 is kind of furthering the opportunity with bringing mainframe talent to the platform? Yeah, you're, you're spot on, Greg, because if you think about it, right, all of this success I've been talking about with the mainframe, the mainframe has been around for decades now, right? And, um, and yeah, we've the people been building... working on it today are not the people that were working on it in the 50s and the 60s, it. right? You got it, you got it. And with each of that, we're building in more and more capability. And one of the beauties of the mainframe is you can, you can, you can move everything that you were working you know, on in your previous generations to the new generation. And so that longevity can build in a lot of complexity, um, which, which it does. One of the mantras we've been on now is actually simplification. Right, a very simple way to put it, right? But that the idea behind it is how can we ensure that from as from for new users, for example, or people who are coming to the mainframe, or even experienced users, making it easier for them to be more productive more quickly, right? Get their insights, drive the so it's around modernization and how do we drive that um, that you know, more familiar, um, you know, modern capabilities onto the platform. And so that's all, that's all coming with the, with the Z17 as well. And it'll be a journey, it'll continue. So I, I know I've been talking for years, I, I don't think the general population realizes this, but the mainframe is one of the most open platforms on the planet. I mean, I know it's not at first blush because mainframe is provided by one, one company, but so in Z17, are there advances in opening up the platform as well? Yeah, I mean, open is part of our strategy on this platform. It's it's huge, um, and and it, you're right. I think sometimes a lot of people don't realize we've been we've been embracing open technology for a long time now, right? For you decades. know, with, with Linux, yeah, for decades. Exactly right. Um, you know, so think about with Linux and all of the capabilities that we've brought in. Uh, in that space, we have a Linux One platform that uh, that that also uh, drives into new spaces and and new markets and new clients. Um, and then with Red Hat, the Red Hat acquisition that IBM did a while ago, we've we've driven synergy work with Red Hat that brings things like Open uh, OpenShift Container Platform OCP uh, and things like Ansible, et cetera, to the to the platform so that. Um, it's more familiar, right? It's it's more familiar to uh, to all of the, the the skills that are out there today. So you're you're spot on in that we have to diligently always not only train people in how the the mainframe and the complexities, but bring in simplifi simplification uh, to the platform so that folks can be more productive more quickly. So we. You know, IBM, as you mentioned, is, is doing a lot of open. It's also built, I think, one of the first large scale open uh, AI platforms with Watson. So, you know, AI data governance, uh, you can run your granite models on it. Are we going to see it running Meta, uh, Llama? Are we going to be running Llama on the Z17 sure. mainframe? Is that going to happen? Sure. Sure, we're, we, we embrace not only our, the IBM Granite models, but open models that are out there. And in fact, we're making the Granite models themselves open. So that's a great, a great example. And then we're bringing those 
capabilities now that we've built in this infrastructure um, with with the Telema two and the Spire card, we can bring those models. And it's not just about you know the predictive neural network models that we've we've typically had. We're bringing Gen AI and large language models capability to work in concert, and so we're bringing those models to the platform. Um, so I think it's I think it's um, you know, it, it's something we have embraced for a long time, and we're also bringing new and the latest and greatest capability as well. I think you need to bring a Z17 in-house at Futurum to start writing your newsletters and your emails and stuff like that. I love like it. That, right? Large language models. Yeah. You can put open AI, and you can run Llama, we can run Anthropic, you can run Watson. We can, we can put, you know, because it's all about open. You want to give access to everything, compare, contrast, perform. I mean, every buzzword and cartoon character in the open source yeah, universe. Powerhouse of yeah. compute, security, reliability. Who wouldn't want <laughs> yeah. this thing? Never goes down, <laughs> yeah. uh, runs the world's you transaction. All right, That's what they're you got it. Who wouldn't want one? You get the analyst saying all the things you want to have said. So um, let's ask you the big question, though. David, uh, what is possible? Like if you had to say, hey, here's two things that you can do on Z17 that you couldn't do before, what would you, I know there's more than two, but what are like kind of the one, two, the punch, biggest. the biggest? Yeah, yeah um, I, I think the thing I'm most excited about is our ability to combine models, right? Now that we have the capability to bring Gen AI capability to the platform, we know of a lot of use cases that we've been working with clients on and we're excited about those and we, we you know expect great adoption um i'm i'm curious about the ones we haven't thought of because those capabilities are out there right that we are in the midst of the transformation that's happening and so um i'm excited to get the platform out to clients uh and and have them also continue to dream up new applications and, and new capabilities. Um, but because again, it's in the combination. So I'll give you an example, right? We had fraud detection. We're now looking at, um, you know, if you apply uh, predictive traditional AI models, neural network, deep learning, machine learning, you can, you can predict with a fair degree of accuracy. But when you then bring in large language models and layer those on top, you can really get even more accurate. So that's an application for fraud detection that we're doing with with one of our one of our uh, credit card customers. But where there's there's even uh, you, you can imagine that there'll be a lot more use cases that'll that'll come. Well, hey, congratulations to IBM and all of our joint oh. customers on the Z17 and everything that it's going to bring to their environment. This is fake, it's just red colored water. Grape juice. <laughs> it's grape, it's grape juice. juice as far as you know, but congratulations to all of you. Absolutely. Listen, uh, congrats, to. as Greg said, it is a really big moment. We know that for IBM, this tends to be a, a big uh, boon for a few years on the infrastructure but side. But not just IBM, but for the, the customers, the ecosystem, all the capabilities. I thought I got the last word in, well, yeah. like always. Yeah. But but the, but this does flow through the ecosystem, the openness of the ecosystem, it ties and connects to many, and it does drive the transactions, the business, and of course, bring in the next generation of AI and the developer community to bring innovation that we may frankly not have thought of yet. So congrats to you and the team, to thank Broadcom, you. Mainframe Software, and the analyst, David. Thank you very much. Yes. Look forward to having you back soon thank sometime. Thank you, Dan, really appreciate it. Glad, glad you mentioned ecosystem, that's also important. So. But for you out there, the subscribers, the community, we love you being part of the main scoop. Stick with us, watch all the episodes, join us for more coverage here, including the big moments and announcements, which we are now doing here, Greg. Now do I get to be done? Yeah. Absolutely. I Thank you all done. for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.